humid heat in Florida, so it's a little different. So, Matt, where in Florida are you guys from? Um, three of us live in Orlando, kind of like a downtown area, and then one lives near Miami. Oh, right. What, what West Palm Beach? Uh, yeah, West Palm, Pompano area. That's where our, our bass player, Paolo, lives, and then the rest of the three of us live all in... Uh, in Orlando, everyone always thinks Disney, but Disney's in Kissimmee. It's like 45 minutes away from us, so we're more in like the Orlando-ish downtown area. I see. So, uh, because um, like every other radio show in the world, I, I used to work in Florida. I-, I-, I worked in beautiful Fort Myers. Oh, yeah? What station? Uh, WJBX down there. Okay, cool. I'm not entirely familiar with that one. I know WJR from Central, and that's the only one I know. Yeah, actually, you, you know, like like every other sort of like radio station, hey, you played a show for us once, and it's really cool, man. <laughs> you a show for us, it's really cool, man. That's awesome. You know one of the great things about Florida, dude? Florida is, we, it will give you the most awesome episode of Cops ever. Yes. It's Florida and Oklahoma. I mean, look at our trial that just happened. I know, the whole Casey Anthony thing. Yes, and so, my, my dad works at the courthouse, too, so he said there was like helicopters and like <laughs> riots and stuff, so. Oh, man, oh, yeah. man. So what do you think? Was she, is she guilty or innocent? Man, I mean, it's like, how come no one's asking the questions who killed the kid and put it in a plastic bag with tape over its mouth? Like, I know I hate to make our day grim here, but that's the thing no one was asking. Thanks for the downer, Matt. I'm sorry. (laughs) It it is a metal festival, right? No, that's true. That's true. You know, know, we're going to do a dead like death clock, man. It's completely brutal. (laughs) It's completely brutal. Yeah, it it was really, I mean... You know, I guess they went by... I I didn't follow it until the end, so I guess I can't have too much... I don't really know too much of an opinion on it, but it's just, if she didn't do it, she should be sobbing. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Right. Who killed my kid? Like, that's... That's what I would expect. You, you know what, man? It's like it's like as someone who like lived in Florida. It's like to me, it's like both pros, both prospects in that. You know, some trampy mom wants to go back to being a, a trampy single lady, decides to snuff her kid. Damn, seems man. as well, seems as possible as a family so deeply dysfunctional mm-hmm. that they decide to make a terrible accident look like a murder. They both they both one seems more likely than the oh, other. Yeah. I will say that. Yeah. But, but, you know, some, man, there's some crazy people in Florida. There, there really are. I mean, they're, they're crazy people everywhere. I guess just, unfortunately, we're on the we're on the media's eye right now. So hopefully guys like us and Tribune will bounce out a little bit, make it a little more happy. You're going to get on stage. Let me tell you about what's awesome about Florida. Us. Yeah. We're <laughs> awesome. It is it is getting good there. Our food scene's getting really good because I'm really, really into food, and that's pretty much all I do when I travel. Uh, like, every country, I'll eat every single thing that they make traditionally. So Florida, our food scene's getting really good. Our art scene's getting really good, and um, it, it's, it's a good place to live. You how, know, how do you stay so skinny, dude. I mean, yoga. I look, well, my fat ass over here. I mean, <laughs> yoga. I picked yo- up yoga about a year ago. Really? Yeah, Come on, really? It. Yeah, I was doing it in our in the Jaeger semi this morning. Cause, <laughs> of course, that doesn't what? seem right. That you know, because people good. people pay for that. They pay like hundred dollars for Bikram yoga class. I got it for free this morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> they got a workout course on the on the tour for you guys, or what? Keep you guys in shape? Oh uh, no, I just up? I brought my mat and just do it myself. Oh, all right, that yeah, is so, so fantastic. Weird. It's, it's Pilates That's with awesome trivium today. <laughs> Downward dog. Downward yep. dog. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think I lost like 25 pounds just from doing yoga, but I still eat whatever I want. I, I drink whenever I feel like it. Yeah. I, mean, I hate him. My God. Yeah. I just put the, all the pounds on. Dude, I'll, I'll teach you guys yoga next all time. All right. You're going to show us some poses. I'll, I'll give and the stuff whole like studio that. all nice. yoga, yoga lessons. Okay. You're on. I, I, I tra- you know, here's the thing. I tried yoga one time, but you know, all I found out is that I, I, I was still not able to reach it and I hurt my neck in the process. Well, the thing. <laughs> I know we're, wow. now we're totally <laughs> jumped. We jump <laughs> topics really hard. But the nice thing about it is it's so not competitive. It's not about how far you can get into anything it's just the fact that you're doing it it's like really about it's non-competitive based because when i used to work in the gym it felt like you know all dudes sizing each other up it's right. kind of how like oh, Ozfest yeah. felt everyone's like i can lift more than you <laughs> right. i'm tougher than you but this is more just you're doing it and it's supposed to be like a positive experience and all that the one time i tried that was on the we fit and my my big ass fell right off the platform i, I, I can't do that thing either <laughs> looked like an idiot i'll show you the style I like you'll, 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 you'll all go all right all right cool that is fantastic man we're learning a lot of exciting stuff about trivium today no. so so matt I mean, you guys are playing the festival of all yep. today here and what time are you guys going on stage 5 40 on the fold out semi truck jaeger stage nice good times now yep. where is the where is the next day for you guys good question uh albuquerque new mexico okay and that's tomorrow yes tomorrow see because you know okay as an inveterate food nerd myself <laughs> i will say that phoenix has a pretty good dining scene yeah i They're, really want to check it out we've never had time to do it Unfortunately. Well, you know, we could, if you have a little bit of time, I know a place where we can get some Indian street food in, uh, in Tempe. And it is really, literally right next to a Bikram yoga place. So it could be <laughs> a full, completely rock and roll day for you. a lot and then do yoga and see what happens. There you go. Oh, man, That's I've got on. an idea about what happens. Yeah, something really, really bad. But, no, next time we're in town, we should do that. We should hit up some of the food stuff because I've never been able to do that here. Yeah. It's, just, it's like I've lived here in Phoenix for seven years now. And it's surprising how, you know, you, you like whenever you go to a city and it has, like, a, an unexpectedly good food scene, the Phoenix food scene is real good. Right now. I'm making my way through Anthony Bourdain's new book, Medium Raw. Dude, yeah, that's all. He's he's my favorite writer. He's the only writer that I read. Oh, he is fantastic. 
That's awesome, man. He actually just made a food blog as well because I was inspired by his writing. Oh, nice. What's your food blog? It's uh, MatthewKichiHafey.tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R.com. Okay, I did catch it. <laughs> is there a link on your oh. Facebook page or uh, it's, trivia it's, page or anything? It might not be. It's it's off my Twitter there. page. Okay. Yeah. All but, right, so um, we'll find you on Twitter. It's just my first middle last name, .tumblr.com, and it's okay. got like a Japan episode, Germany, France. Oh, so we nice. we just did a whole like a uh, worldwide press tour for this record. Oh, that is fantastic. That'll be an interesting insight into the band. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, okay, let's talk about trivia just yes. for a second. Cool, All right. Cool. So, okay. Let me ask you about a band named yep. Trivium. Yep. If you suddenly found yourself with an opportunity to be in a band not Trivium for a month touring, what band would that be? Rammstein. Rammstein. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's an interesting answer. Yeah, they're, they're they're my absolute heroes when it comes down to the visuals. And with this record, with, I'm going to jump back to Trivium and back to Rammstein. Within Waves, it was all about making the visuals as important as the music. I see. Mm-hmm. Like not obviously not the way I look right now. Right. You can't <laughs> see me over the board. <laughs> right. But not right now. But it's all about tying in our music videos in with the live show and with the, the album liner notes and with everything making all all make sense. And that's something Rammstein did a lot. That's something that I noticed a lot when I was like 12, 13, getting into Rammstein. Right. Every single video of theirs is like a mini movie, right. like its own start to finish movie. But for us, our new record, every single video is being part of like this 10 part movie saga thing. So there's no performance in our music videos at all anymore. They're all like a mini movie. In Waves is out now. And then we're about to shoot a video for a song called Built to Fall at the end of this tour. And that's going to be the first song of Trivium's ever to be serviced to like all radio around the around the U.S. So oh, really fantastic. Excited. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. We're really stoked. That is, that is awesome. So what you're saying is that for all the songs off the new album, there's going to be music videos that go with them, right? Um, maybe not every single song, but I guess as many songs as the album is successful. You, you so three to five to ten. Now you guys have the story already planned out, or are you just kind of working it per song? I mean, it's, well, it's all going to tie together. With, but this, I mean, with the entire record, like it's very. We had five visual artists on this record, three production team people, and the four of us all working the music. I think it was three years that we had the idea of the music, two years working the music, and a year working on the art. Oh wow! Jeez. Um, yeah. So every single thing with this record, it's like when people see the cover, when people see the song titles, they're like, "Oh, what does this mean? What does this mean?" But we're really trying to instill the creativity and imagination back. In the listeners ears and brains so that way there is no right or wrong answer what anything means or supposed to mean and everyone give up come up with their own interpretation of what they feel like it's supposed to be wow. awesome. so it's, it's almost like you're trying to say that you know what people should do is they should come to an artistic experience and take away their own impressions exactly yeah because when i was a kid a song would mean something to me and i would read in an, an interview what it's supposed to mean and what i'm supposed right. to take of it it's not the same thing anymore see what bummed me out when i was a kid was i would you know listen i hear a song and i really liked it then the video would come on mtv and i'm like why is this about exploding dolphins yeah exactly <laughs> and that's something we're trying to take away from too like we're trying to make our video Videos, like a reaction to everything we've done, like different than we've ever done. That's why there's no performance at all, I and see. it's all storyline based. And our live DVD, it has no auto tune, no fixed guitars, no nothing. We've got a live DVD that comes with the record, and it's just like full on DIY punk rock style. For wow, record. that's refreshing. That is that no is auto tune. That yep, is extraordinarily uh, fantastic. I uh, man, it's like you know when you get all these videos put together and they have a re- uh, like sort of a, a connective theme between them, is what you're describing to me. Some of them be somehow connected, right? Yeah, man, and everything ties in with everything. Like our documentary goes with our live DVD, goes with our music videos. Goes with our packaging, goes with our music, goes with our website, goes with our logo, goes with our merch. Oh man, so a lot of thought went into this yes. one. Yes, P- people are going to be dropping so much acid trying to figure out the secret <laughs> meaning in this. Yep, you're like the secret meaning is whatever you think. No, no, man, I did 45 <laughs> hits of acid. Tell me what it actually means. We've, we've had so many cool interpretations too of what people think everything is supposed to be. And that I mean, is fantastic, yeah. dude. It makes me excited to go check out the whole Trivium stuff. Today. Yeah, man, you need to. You need to. All right, so what time on stage for Trivium? 5:40 p.m. So Five. I would get there early, Jaeger stage. 5:40 p.m. Matt, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me, man. Thank and you, guys. Uh, you know, if you have time, try and eat.